shared tags. All materials stored in Anki, your cards, notes, decks, note types, deck options and so on, is called as collection. In addition to your collection, you can also use the deck someone has created. These are called as shared decks. The easiest way to get started with Anki is to download a deck of cards someone has shared. To do that, first click the Get Shared button at the bottom of the deck list. Second, when you have found the deck you are interested in, click the Download button to download the deck package. Three, double click on the download package to load it into Anki or File and import it. Please note that it's not currently possible to add shared decks directly to your Anki web account. You need to import them with the desktop program and then synchronize to upload them to Anki web. Creating your own deck is the most effective way to learn a complex subject. Subjects like language and the sciences can be understood simply by memorizing the facts. They require explanation and context to learn effectively. Furthermore, inputting the information yourself forces you to decide what the key points are leading to a better understanding. If you are a language learner, you may be tempted to download a long list of words and their translations. But this won't teach you a language any more than memorizing scientific equations will teach you astrophysics. To learn properly, you need textbooks, teachers, or exposure to real-world sentences. Please don't forget this sentence. Do not learn if you do not understand. Most shared decks are created by people who are learning material outside of Anki, from textbooks, classes, television and etc. They select interesting points from what they learn and put them into Anki. They make no effort to add background information or explanation to the cards, because they already understand the material. So when someone else downloads their deck and tries to use it, they will find it very difficult as the background information and explanations are missing. This is not to say shared decks are useless, simply that for the complex subjects they should be used as a supplement to external material, not as a replacement for it. If you are studying textbook and someone has shared a deck of ideas from that, that's a great way to save some time. And for simple subjects that are basically a list of facts, such as capital city names or pop quiz, you probably do not need external material. But if you attempt to study complex subjects without external material, you will probably meet with disappointing results.